Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. I'm going to do a walkthrough of a buy to sell just so you can see how we pose the thing up. Ash and I are on site. We bought this for 164 post auction. We did 21 grand refurb and it is literally about to hit the market at 250. So fingers crossed, we anticipate a sale around that level, but until the fat lady sings, the money's in the bank ain't done till it's done. So it, but, but it should have a very good profit margin. So this is the kitchen and here is where we, this is Ikea. Um, Tesco, Habitat, Ikea, I don't even know, <laughs> and Ikea and Ikea. Um, and all of that is relatively inexpensive. These are probably from Argos. And what they, they really say is, honey, I'm home, have some food. Uh, our candles are from Asda. And where are our, our blinds from? Tesco or Asda? Either Tesco. Tesco Home is brilliant at delivery. And then we've just got a few nice bits and pieces of staging kit. Um, white wine. <laughs> Courtesy of Tiffany Okoto, you will notice the seal has been broken. And this white wine, I believe, is now water. So somebody in my team at some point enjoyed themselves. And th which is why we've got fewer red wine bottles now and, and more white wine bottles because it's actually water. Um, and again, Tesco, Argos, Argos, Argos. And then come on through, come and see the living room. And I'm, I'm saying to Ash, please don't put my, me in the camera because I'm wearing joggers today. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm, I'm, I might need to just, forgive me, we've got a, a pair of step ladders, but do you want to just show around? And then I'll, I'll give a little tour. So what we've got is an open plan living room, dining room. So we could have put a second dining room table there, but we actually wanted the space. And I'm just going to talk you through where we got everything. So uh, Ikea, uh, this is Habitat, but actually bought from Argos. And they are the kilo tables and the candles are from Asda. This one is um, a mistake of mine. This is very expensive. This is John Lewis, 500 pounds. Don't do that. Um, so, I don't know why I bought it. I'm just having a complete brain moment. Um, don't do that. Uh, then we have, oh, Ash is going to be in the mirror. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Argos, oh, sorry. Argos, which is Habitat. And I bet you'll get my joggers in as well. This is 12 95 from Asda, Asda, Habitat, and then Argos. This is about our poshest mirror we have. It's about 35 quid from Argos. And then we have a, oh, sorry. We have Ikea. Argos, Argos, I think that one was B&Q ages ago. I had a little moment of liking owls and forgive the stepladder. We just keep that in the car at all times. Ikea, Argos, Argos, B&Q, Argos, Argos, Ikea, Argos, Argos, Argos. No, not Argos, sorry, the cushions. I'm so sorry, Asda. Um, and then again, back to the tables, which are um, Argos, but Habitat. And that is Habitat. And those are um, from uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, Asda. Um, which is where we get most of our cushions. Have I said Argos for the cushions? I mean Asda. Asda Home is a fantastic place. Uh, we get an awful lot of our fittings there from that. And those are from my mum's gardens. And then you notice we have got a second mirror. So if you have a look through our kitchen living room, you'll notice we have basically beige, or sorry darling, mocha. And then on top of that, we've got two color points mainly that pop. And those color points are kind of the blue, the duck egg blue and the purple. And those are the two key color points. So we've got the blue in the blind, we've got blue in the tables, we've got blue in the chairs, and then we've got purple, and we've got kind of duck egg blue in the cushions. And then we've got purple in the cushions, purple in the um, candles, I think we had some more purple accessories back in the kitchen. And all the way through this house, and it's a three bed house, and we'll do an upstairs video for you just shortly so you can see how we style upstairs. We have the same color scheme, white walls, beige carpet, and we do 14 mil underlay so that the thing feels very luxurious, but it's very, very inexpensive carpet on top. But when you walk through, you kind of think, ooh, that feels nice. And then the only two colorways really that we're using are purple and blue to make things pop. And it's continuity all the way through. Because we're at the height of the market and things sell really quickly, we use very inexpensive accessories that works really well for us. But we just put quite a lot in just so it feels like somebody's at home. Um, so we'll take you upstairs next. I hope you like my mum's flowers. Uh, but you notice also we repeat. So we repeat the mirrors, we repeat the kilo tables. We've got, we got three, yeah, three loads of them. And that's because beauty is about uniformity and repetition. And so you don't want to have loads of different things. You just want a repeatable 
which is scalable of course because they can go in any house but a repeatable form again and again and again so repeatable in the beige repeatable in the white walls because there's no um, cost to cutting in repeatable in the two colors that pop blue and purple and then repeatable in actually the cushions and the furnishings it's the same mugs throughout the house the same candles throughout the house the same tables throughout the house hope that's helpful um, one of the ways if you're not amazing at colour decoration go into somewhere like Ikea take a photograph go buy exactly what they have and replicate it with the photograph back into your own kitchen we find that when you style something up it sells a lot quicker that's our gut anyway see you soon oh and if you do want to subscribe there's a button somewhere do subscribe to our videos and we'll produce lots more for you bye